Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is the base cleaning video that was supposed to come out yesterday. The sound was completely off the entire time. I'm looking at the sound now. It looks like it's on. I see the little thing is going like this. So I hope this is the one that you guys have been waiting for because this is the one that like I meant to record yesterday. And a lot of people were like, Code, why did you upload it if it had no sound? I just, I didn't have time. I had played for 30 minutes, it was late, and I couldn't go back and record. And I didn't want to leave you guys with nothing, so here we go. Um, oh my gosh, wait. I've been watching you for ages. Thanks, Batman. <laughs> I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. There we go. I'm Batman. Um, so yeah, I will just get started in and... Oh, we don't actually put axes over here. We put axes in the axe shop, so... I will just grab that. Um, basically, a lot of my base cleaning videos don't have much to them. It's me sitting here talking, giving advice, and just talking in general about the day, right? So um, I will talk about my life, and I will talk about my advice to people and stuff like that. So we're going to talk about controversial things. So if you're not into controversial topics... All right, it's still going to be family friendly, but it's going to be things that we talk about. Yes, I remember you. Do you remember me from yesterday? Yeah, Foxinator 5 came in and you and were on my base. Uh, I, I didn't have you helping me. So I wonder if, should I trust you? I'm, I'm not going to trust you. I'm sorry. Uh, are you cleaning again? Yes, trying to make up for yesterday technically today, but it's fine. Um, I don't have a box for spoons, do I? Do I? I don't think I've got a box for spoons. Um, okay, here. We'll just... Uh, whoa, that did not lift. We'll come over here, and we will make a new box. Right there. That, oh, that'll be a box for spoons. <sighs> Anyhow, um... So I did want to talk to you because the um, something that happened to my son. All right, he went to school not yes, yeah. It wouldn't have been yesterday. It would have been Tuesday, and we get a call from the nurse's office saying that he has sustained an injury. And when we asked him what happened, it turns out he had gotten into a fight and scraped his knee on the concrete. Hmm, yeah, so I wanted to talk to you guys about that. I'm speechless. Sorry if I'm annoying you. Don't worry about annoying me. I, it would take so much to actually annoy me. Um, my son is not a violent type person. He, he likes the idea of like ninja and pretend and stuff like that, um, but not actually violent. Here's the problem. He's big. He's like really big. He, uh, he is actually taller than my wife and his sister. So he's outgrown them both and he's still continuing to grow. He is getting muscular. He is like, he's growing and he's in middle school. He's 11. Okay. He comes up to my chin. I'm 6'2", by the way. Um, the kid he fought is probably about two foot shorter than he is. So here's the whole story. After we got the phone call and after he got home, we sat him down and talked to him like, you tell us the whole story, what's going on? Because I do not condone violence, period. Well, um, this little boy apparently flipped him off and he did his logical thing, walked over and said, hey, why are you flipping me off? And if you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. But the little boy said, because nobody likes you. And Oliver, I guess, was tired. He had, uh, he's not gotten used to his new ADHD medicine, or whatever the case may be. And he hauled off and punched him square in the chest. It was enough to knock the wind out of the, the little boy. And it was enough to put him on the ground. So, later on, 
for uh, lunchtime, um, somebody was egging him on, telling him, hey, punch him in the arm, punch him in the arm. Fight, 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 right? Because they had seen what had happened that morning. And he pu lightly punched him in the arm. I, I don't know if it was playfully, I don't know what the case may be, but the little boy had had it and he punched back. Punched him hard enough to um, knock him, knock Ollie backwards and into a pole where he spun and then hit his knee on the concrete, which by all means, good. It, it Like you don't hit people, but again, don't hit period. Here's a couple of problems with the scenario. We asked him, has this little boy been bullying you before? He's like, yeah. Did you tell anybody? No. That's the mistake. You tell someone. If you have somebody who's bullying you in real life, just, or even online, tell someone. All right, do not be silent about being teased. There is none of this um, snitch, squad, silence, all right, anti-snitching, whatever the case may be, whatever you want to call it. If somebody's making fun of you, you've asked them to stop and they don't, go tell someone. And guess what? There's zero tolerance for bullying nowadays. It happens. It still happens all the time. And the reason most people get away with it is because nobody tells anyone. Tell someone. So, <sighs> as a punishment, the uh, the school gave him ISS for the day. It was in school suspension. Um, as for our punishment, he has lost all video games for a week. He won't get them back until Saturday. Um, the other thing is he takes Taekwondo. So he is learning to strike harder than the average person. Like, and I know a lot of people are gonna be like, Taekwondo is not a problem, I don't care. It's still training and it's still a discipline. So as part of his punishment, I took him early to his Taekwondo class, talk, uh, went into his uh, master, his sensei, and had him stand tall before him and explain everything. Like you tell him, you tell him exactly what happened at school today. And then um, the sensei, amazing guy, by the way, he said, he basically said the same thing that we were saying. You can't hit people. If this had been high school, you could have been arrested. You could have had a juvenile record. Like it's much bigger thing than you're making it out to be. And yeah, you might be playing play fighting or whatever the case may be. But if you really hurt someone, the parents aren't going to care if you guys were play fighting. It's, it's not going to be in the kid's hands anymore. That's, that's the problem. You know, that's, I can say bye. Bye YouTube. Oh, bye ITT, IX, have fun. Um, it's much serious. You, you don't use violence and you don't punch first. Now, by all means, if somebody is hitting you, you have every right to defend yourself, but you also have every right to not be verbally abused, okay? If somebody calls you a name, that's just it. It's just a name, okay? Yeah, it might hurt. It might not hurt, but it's only how you react to it. Hi, I, I, I. Hello. Um, your reaction is the only thing you can control. You can't control what they're saying. But if somebody's calling you a name and you tell them, hey, stop, I don't like that, and they don't, go tell somebody. Because that, that moment, the moment you say stop, and they continue, they've crossed the line, and that's now bullying. And I guarantee you, your school's not going to put up with it. Most schools won't put up with it. The administration doesn't want to have lawsuits on their hands, so they will take every case that you go and tell someone seriously uh, do I have coal I don't think I've got any coal what what is this place Who, whose base is this seriously don't I have coal I've got coal up there don't I hi I, I, I. <laughs> you were in a video two days ago weren't you hello 
I like I love what you've done with your hair. I love the rainbow colors. Is that like four or five uh, colors in one? That is awesome. Hi. I like that I can play in public servers again. Not to get off topic. Um, I never condone violence. Now, at the same time, I'm pretty impressed that he did a single strike and the kid was on the ground. I'm not going to lie. That was like a <gasps> kind of moment. But at the same time, I'm like, no, I don't, I don't care if he's calling you the biggest poop in the toilet. It does not matter. It doesn't matter. You do not have a, a right to put your hands on anyone. And that goes for everybody that's listening now. If somebody is hitting you, defend yourself. But if they're just calling you names, don't you dare strike them. Okay, you might use words back. But do you really want to scoop down to their level? Do you want that to be how you react to them? Don't. All right, I know this is a blue bone turkey, but I'm just, I'm going to collect all turkeys in the same same spot <sighs> don't stoop to that level the the only thing you can control is how you react you can't control what other people do and for other people like you might show them one of my videos <laughs> just sorry that was self plug <clears throat> where are these presents do we have these presents at all hot chocolate presents that is hot chocolate, right? I think that's hot chocolate. Maybe. All right, that's coal. There we go. Was that coal in there? No, that's gray presents. Okay. So we got a free one open here. And we got a free one open there. So if I find some more objects here. Green pumpkins. Whoa. Green pumpkins can go right in there. And we'll do boxed and unboxed. We oh, that feels good because I I told you guys that yesterday in the video, and that's a long story. Um, I'm probably I'm not I'm not gonna go as long today just because um, I want to go play. I mean, yesterday was all work work work. I didn't even get to recording until like eleven that night. So tonight I have a little bit of time. I know the new Fortnite came out. I want to go play that. I want to um, try and get some VR programming under my belt. You respect me 100%. Thank you, Batman. I am recording. Um, that's awesome. If you Do you guys know how to do emojis inside the chats? So if you're on a Windows machine, you can do test, and then you can press Windows and the period symbol, or the period. It'll pop up this little emoji. Oh, you can't see that. Hold up. Hold on, let's go back to Roblox uh, main window. There we go. Okay, so if you do Windows period, you get a little emojis bar and then you can type stuff like clown and it'll put in a clown emoji where you can type stuff like um, bird. Uh, do I have to do it again? Windows. Huh. Why, why did it not do the thing? Okay, close it. We'll open it again. Windows period. There we go. Bird. Uh, and then cat. There we go. Cat ninja. Oh, oh wait, that's not a cat ninja. That's awesome. That's actually, that's a singular emoji right there. That's a really long emoji. That is too. Cat Ninja is one emoji. So there we go. Test. And then it'll, it'll put it into the chat for you. So you can do that if you want. Um, I don't particularly use emojis unless it's like in discord chats. Um, let's go ahead and hide the main window. Go back to Roblox. 
Uh, I'm gonna call it. That's 15 minutes, and you did did some a little bit of cleanup, you know, and talk to you guys about some personal things. And I think that's that's what a base cleaning is, you know. I'm gonna continue to clean up the base. I'm going to continue to play uh, Woodmill Incorporated next week. So if you're if you're waiting for the next WMI, it's gonna be next week. It's not gonna be this week. I'm I'm doing all lumber this week because he did the updates and I'm I'm loving the updates. So, um, again, I'm really happy to be back in public servers. That's that's so nice. If somebody watching this right now is an exploiter, please don't ruin that for us. Don't don't ruin it for me. All right. This is this is nice, and I don't I don't want to have to go back to private servers. So. Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, like a good YouTuber does. Get a hashtag I, 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 in the uh, in the comments. Um, love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Oh, true. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.